I went from the bearded guy to a little beard, and Dan was big beard. Closer, closer, closer than I ever been. Closer, closer, closer than I ever been. I just know we getting closer. Yeah, it's dirty. Yeah, oh yeah. Super dirty. I might just skip the coffee, go straight to the espresso. How old are you? Shot, 27. And you've never had coffee? Never had coffee. Not one time. Kids, you don't need coffee. Don't <laughs> listen to one word that he just said. That is the biggest lie I've ever heard. Well, pops told me work till you make it, man, then work more. So the salmon sandwich with bacon, which is what everyone got except for Big Mike over here, doing it big with the pizza. Sure, you know. I love it. If I hang out with you guys and go to a coffee shop at all, I'll try coffee with you guys. Do you, the experience. That's a video. Do you drink pre-workout? PE science. <laughs> Pro Olympic. Do you eat ricotta though? Because you're an actual Italian. That is true. The, you, you have to eat ricotta. Like, straight out of the bowl if you need to. If you're Italian, you do. But the whole not drinking coffee thing, you're not off the hook for that. Party like tomorrow is my funeral. Gotta stop mixing alcohol with pharmaceuticals and the unusual. Tomatoes. I still cannot use tomatoes. Really? Rich homie right there. They think it's an aim problem. It's a gravity problem. Oh my goodness. That is that's just a cool man. Oh man. I've got some issues that nobody can see. And all of these emotions are pouring out of me. It's almost like you just read the book and came in here and said, all right, I'm going to show this guy what I know about marketing. Because <laughs> it's pretty dead on. <laughs> You're doing good. Dude, it's so weird to be in a city where you can actually get in a parking garage and park. And not have to pay for it? Yeah, and actually have open spaces. Faded. First place we walk into, we order a, a hurricane and a, and a margarita. And the lady's like, would you like that for here to go? Like, to go, duh. Yeah. I think I beat you, dude. Yours is way more decorative. That's just. Well, let me get this rice mix in. It's almost like art. It's like Picasso put this plate together. Right. Well, give me a minute. I gotta see. Mine looked all right until I. Yeah, that's all kind of messed up. You know what I just realized? What's that? Mongolian barbecue is actually a restaurant for potheads. So, so you first go through, and you have to pack a bowl. <laughs> Next step, you gotta roll up this thing. Tonight's Ravelle Gelato review is gonna be the strawberry. I gotta admit to you guys, I'm not too excited about this stuff. I don't really like fruity flavored stuff, but I only have this and the cake batter left, and I kinda wanna save that one for tomorrow. That is actually much better than I was expecting. It tastes much less like a strawberry sorbet and more like a strawberry ice cream. All right. When I was a kid, I used to eat something like this all the time. I would take a tortilla, I would sprinkle cheese on top, put it in the microwave, take it out, and I thought I was just some kind of world-renowned chef. So I still do that from time to time, you know, but I'm actually gonna put some of this spinach and kale dip on here from Trader Joe's. You guys know I love this stuff. Just gonna spread it on like so. Then we just sprinkle a little bit of cheese on top of that. We're gonna put it in the microwave for maybe like 30 seconds. It comes out all melted. Now tell me that doesn't look gourmet. Okay, it doesn't look that great, but you just wrap it up and you eat it. It is delicious, I promise you. So tonight we are having the not so poverty brownie. This guy right here has like 650 calories compared to the poverty brownie that's like 130. We're just moving right on up in the world, guys. And I'm finishing the day with about 6,000 calories as did I yesterday. So it's been a, a few days of heavy eating here and tomorrow we're gonna try to continue that trend. But for now, I gotta get some sleep. Here's what's going on right now. I got up at about 6 a.m. this morning to start editing this tattoo video. If you guys watch that video, please leave a comment down below. If you didn't watch the video, Please leave a comment, tell me why not, because this has taken me forever. It's one of my favorite projects I've ever done in my entire life. Super passionate about this one, but I'm gonna have one of these Kirkland protein bars, and I almost wanna do a standalone video on this. So this is one of the new flavors, a chocolate peanut butter chunk, and they also have a cinnamon roll. I think this has become my 
favorite protein bar. If you guys want me to do a video telling you why, just let me know. But I, what I really like about these is they stay soft, at least for now it's been about two weeks. Super, super good and super cheap. So I'm gonna have this. I already had a few bowls of cereal. How it's possible to spend so many hours editing a six minute video, I will never know. I cannot describe to you guys how good it feels to finish up a project that you're extremely, extremely passionate about. I hope you guys watch that one. It's rendering right now. I gotta get to the gym. Why is this open? That was pretty loud. I gotta get to the gym. I don't even think I'm gonna have time to go to Tiger Fitness. I'm gonna have to go to the commercial gym, which means I can't film, but I honestly don't think that you guys really care. When I put gym footage in my in my workout videos, or when I put gym footage in the what I'm trying to say is when I put workout footage in these videos, no one leaves comments about it, so I just assume most of you guys probably skip through it anyway. So I'm gonna eat this entire bag of Puffy cereal because I'm trying to hit a crazy caloric goal today, one to make this video. Also, when I got back from LA, I was 174 pounds, so I lost about three or four pounds when I was there, probably because of my activity level, and even though I was eating not the best food, I just wasn't eating as much, so we're gonna make up for that today. I tell you what, guys, I love being an adult. Okay guys, I'm here at my commercial gym. You guys aren't allowed to come in here. I'll talk to you when I'm done. So now am I jacked yet? No, okay. So you all know and love Rich Homie Corey just as much as I do. Stand up guy, not too many things you can point out about him and be like, eh, I don't know about that. But, but there's one thing I don't think I've ever told you guys about and that is he doesn't like sushi, which it, it pains me, it really does, but I figured, you know, if that's the worst thing about them, then, then we can get over that. But there is this place, it's called Fusion. It's a place here in Cincinnati. I think it's also in Dayton. And it's essentially like a Chipotle for sushi. You go down the line and create your own sushi. It's the most Americanized sushi you could ever imagine. So if you're just getting into sushi, it's a great place to start. But Corey was telling me that one of his coworkers brought him back a peanut butter and jelly sushi roll. And I can't help myself, I don't want nobody else. So we got one semi-normal roll here. It's cooked chicken, carrots, and asparagus. And then this is the PB&J. This is the one that I'm real curious about. Very, very interesting. You know, it's not like any other sushi I've ever had, but it's pretty good. Going to the grocery on a Sunday. Why do I hate myself? Cause I'm thinking of you. I'm thinking of you. I like to divide my grocery hauls into the essential food groups, vegetables, protein fats, poverty brownie, thumbnail, hydration, and that's what we got for the week. Guys, these thumbnail pictures are just getting more and more ridiculous. <laughs> So we have this Trader Joe's barbecue chicken pizza, which looks amazing. Then we have meal prep for next week, which does not look so good. But if you guys watched the video I did last week about the keto thing during the day, go back and watch it if you're curious. I'm going to have some chicken thighs and some green beans. Not exciting, but this, this might be the best frozen pizza that I've ever had in my entire life. And it's not that big. And it's a thousand calories, which is great because I got to get in 8,000 calories today. Still got a lot of food to make up. This is just me getting my pregnant cravings out for the week. This is a grilled cheese sandwich, which is pretty self-explanatory, right? But this is actually a grilled peanut butter and jelly. Don't knock it until you try it, but I don't... I don't know why I bought rye bread. I have this thing where I buy it like once a year, regret it every single time. I bought these things months ago with the idea in mind that it would be good for a thumbnail picture. Oh, I'm definitely buying these for a thumbnail picture at some point in the future. Just look at this crap, man. 10,000 views, 20,000 views. It's, it's crazy, guys. I'm so close to getting a chicken patty tattooed on my face. I think today is finally the day. And while those bake, we're gonna give this guy a try. Oh my gosh, this is... This is the biggest marketing ploy of all time. Look how small this thing is, man. All right. If you guys want to treat yourself, 
pick up a box of these. They're everything that I imagined that they would be. Honestly, I think they smell better than, than they taste, and they taste pretty amazing. Now, eating this entire box might end my life a few years early. Hmm. <laughs> nope, we're cutting it out. <laughs> The point now where this video is just getting boring. So let's make it easier on everybody and just run through what we're gonna do for the rest of the night. We're gonna have some Cheez-Its. I haven't had these since I was like six years old, but I saw that my ancestors actually made this box, so we're gonna go with some of those. I don't know why I have them on this big plate, but anyway, we're gonna have we're gonna have the last flavor of gelato that I've yet to try. The cake batter sounds pretty good. I saw this frozen yogurt and they sold me at the cake and cookie fantasy. We'll see about that. Maybe have one or three or Gosh, there's so many in there. But I think if I finish off a few more of those, we'll be good. I'm honestly still amazed at the consistency of this stuff. I would say just like all the other flavors that I've tried, very impressed. Well, I guess you can't be my tripod any longer, so let's try this uh, fantasy Greek yogurt, not Greek yogurt, frozen yogurt out. Nope, nope, no fantasy of mine. Oh my gosh, I am so full. I think we made it to 20,000 for the weekend. Remember, I do these videos for entertainment purposes. I do not recommend that you do something this ridiculous. Thank you guys so much for taking the time out of your day to watch. You could have been doing anything, anything in the entire world. Please give this video a like. That thumbs up button's like right there probably. All I have to do is click it and that helps me out so much. Thank you, thank you. And if you're new, subscribe. It was great to have you here. I look forward to talking to you guys next time. Make me do all your heavy work for you. And the only thing Travis has that on there is his 30% uh, off. <laughs> Look how cool that is. Who needs an actual camera lens when you can just, just shoot through a protein bottle? <laughs> Corey, that was well worth your efforts.